you look out the window and watch the climate change happen. Melting of the glaciers is anticipated to cause a seven meter sea level rise. I'm sure one can do the math, but this scenario paints a bleak future for a country like the Marshall Islands. I noticed that at 12 o'clock lunchtime, the island is getting hotter and hotter by the day. We're seeing extensive droughts. Um, like right now, we're not supposed to be seeing rain um, as we've seen the, uh, the past weeks. So climate change has altered uh, um, very likely. The more the sea level rises, the, the less land we get. Uh, it's affecting our agriculture. Camp plan. So, uh, anywhere near seawater because the plants are going to die. The peak tide that used to happen at about February once a year, uh, it's happening almost every other month. Inundation of water into the, in, into the land, inland water inundating. The water is now next to the people's house. 海水侵蚀已经到，你看哈，都侵蚀到路边来了，一路上都是这样子啊。然后土地的流失哈，那海岸线被侵蚀哦，这非常明显。这个地方的飞机场，我来看到我吓一跳啊，因为你看这里哦，是不是柏油路的机场啊？刚降落的时候呢，其实有些海水都已经打上来了，是侵蚀它的海岸线呢，非常的严重。我们刚沿路看到很多的食物啊，都已经往海岸边那边倒下去了啊。潮汐的时候呢，这个飞这条飞机跑道呢就不见了，就到海底下去了哈。造成他们生活居民上的影响啊，非常的大。And maybe it's because of climate change. I don't know. But uh, the climate change could also be positive, so we could grow another species of vegetables. No. No. The 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 habits it's not the about climate. Uh, forget all about climate because it's it's small peaks. So climate change is always a bad thing. No. No. In South Greenland, it's good because we are growing. Agriculture is getting warmer down there, and uh, and uh, 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 sheep farmers are using that. This is good for us. We like that it's getting warmer, and I can see that. I can see why they would want it to be warmer. Some of them said that, not all of them, but I think there was a few where they said it's actually good that they became, it's getting warmer, and that they're welcoming some of the changes. But you know, what's good for them is devastating for us. What might seem positive, getting warmer, not being as cold, is actually going to impact our entire livelihoods. I know the position, especially further south or the very south of Greenland, that farmers would claim that uh, the, the crops are, are growing faster, they get more to feed the animals with, uh, with grass and, and stuff like that. 
but it, it seems like uh, it's it's like peeing in your pants. <laughs> that, that it warms a little, for a little for a little while and then it gets cold again. If if not, we are able to hunt. That's what we live off. We we live off fishing. Uh, we live by the ice with the ice. Um, if it disappears totally, who are we then? If there is something wrong, we have to move to leave our island. But you know, this is our home island. We really love it. We can do nothing. We cannot accommodate all the people here. Take them over when there is something wrong. The ice are melting and the sea is rising. Here in the Marshall Islands, we are already experiencing the effect of climate change. And we are on the front lines of this global crisis. There's a saying in Marshallese that uh, man without a land is no man. And for anybody just to come and say, why don't you just move to another high mountain land? They have no understanding of who we are at Marshallese. It's not that simple as just leave your land. But at some point, when the water becomes too warm out here, the, the shrimp population will then migrate further north. We're noticing a huge amount of significant decline in, in the fish. When I was young, we, we could just go out for an hour or two we'd catch a lot of fish. Nowadays, you gotta go out real far. But if it warms up, the fish may not be able to be there. You can't fish. You can't fish, you can't survive. Somewhere it, it, it's getting even colder. Uh, somewhere else it's getting warmer. Uh, the rain is, is falling more heavily. The storms are stronger. And, you know, everything is changing. So it's, it's, it's a global phenomena. And I read somewhere recently that uh, the number of sled storks, for instance, are, have been diminishing uh, like half of the sled dogs. Uh, have, uh, the owners had to, to, to kill them because they couldn't afford to feed them because they cannot go on the sea ice anymore. The world will not end. Yeah. If we get climate change, it will be a new situation. Yeah. But we will not all die and the earth will not end. It will just be another one. Yeah. It's very important that the young people do not panic and say, oh, now everything stops. No, we have to take the challenge to think, to adapt, yes. yeah. and to cut back on emissions in a sensible way. Yes. 
but take it easy. Don't panic. Don't panic. And the last three IPCC reports have been pretty conclusive in saying it's CO2, we need to lower CO2, it's CO2, we need to lower CO2, it's CO2, we need to lower CO2. I don't think writing more scientific papers is the best way to address this problem. You could hire a thousand glaciologists and the ice sheet will still melt at the same rate. All we can do is diagnose the scale of the problem. So I think the most important task facing us right now on the climate action is educating people and educating the people in charge or educating the people who aren't in charge to tell the people who are in charge what to do. Trying to wrap that up for people in a way that they can digest in between the other things they have going on in their lives. I mean, looking after the kids, looking after the parents, doing their job at work, maybe having a hobby, seeing their friends and then caring for climate 1%, 2%, maybe 5% of the time. A lot of times when we bring up the concept of climate change, they understand what it is. They know what climate change is, but they don't necessarily understand what causes it. And so there's a lot of misinformation about who causes climate change. And so some of the education we've had to do is to teach people that actually international organizing and international advocacy is necessary for the climate crisis, for the Marshallese people. Generally, in all of the countries, about the um, climate change that is happening now. Because, after all, climate change is under children's rights. Every child has the right to live in good conditions.